All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 154 pound division where all things seem to be lining up for a big fight that could take place in the division for the WBO World Championship, and that would be Errol Spence Jr. versus Tim Zhu being very likely upcoming this year. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we had good news, bad news, it appears, uh, in the 147, 154 pound division. And we're gonna talk about it in this video. It seems as if the Errol Spence Jr. fight with Terrence Crawford, the rematch, is not gonna take place, at least from the way things are sorting out and the things that Errol is saying and the things that Terrence Crawford is saying. However, seeing as Errol Spence Jr. let it be very known very clearly, that he is not retiring. Obviously, the next question is, what? where does Errol Spence Jr. go from here? And where does Terrence Crawford go from here? The answer for Ter Errol Spence Jr. is much more clear cut than it is for Terrence Crawford. And we are going to talk about that in this video. But before I do, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really means a very, very big deal to the channel. But let's get into this because um, word on the street is that Errol and Terrence are not gonna fight. And honestly, I don't mind it at all. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what both these guys are gonna do afterwards, though, uh, because just, it's just too much drama um, going on around them. As you know, over the course of the weeks, two things have happened this week. Errol Spence Jr. came out and said a few things. He talked about his rib being injured. Uh, he talked about that he had surgery to his eyes to remove cataracts, and he said he was not retiring. Terrence Crawford, for his part, said that he was glad that everything was over and um, that, you know, you know, that uh, wishes Errol Spence Jr. well, which makes people believe, hey, that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are not going to fight. And I think that that is a reasonable conclusion. Now, Errol, though, has a very clear path forward, and the, who he would fight next, in my opinion, is very, very clear as well, and that is a title shot against Tim Zhu, the WBO world champion at that weight class, uh, who was a mandatory challenger for Jamal, for Jamel Charlo, but was given the WBO belt when Jamel Charlo did not uh, take that fight and he went up and he fought um, Canelo Alvarez. This to me, and I've also heard this from other people that I spoke to, is most likely the route that is going to get laid out because it is a fight that fits Errol Spence Jr.'s ambitions, the PBC's ambitions, and is something that will generate a lot of interest for the fighter that wins that fight or the fighter that loses that fight. And um, Tim Zhu is somebody that is pretty much a, exci a guaranteed exciting fight to take place with Errol Spence, but provided that Errol Spence Jr. is not a shot fighter, somebody that I think is uh, almost tailor-made for Errol because he's not going to provide anything tricky to Errol, and he's somebody that Errol has a very good likelihood of being able to outbox because Errol Spence Jr. is a better boxer than Tim Zhu is fighting from the southpaw stance and it would also give Errol Spence Jr. an opportunity to get his hands on a world title at 154 pounds and set up further fights for him in the future uh, and I think more than likely that that's what is going to take place you have guys that have been talking about or articles that have come out about Tim Zhu being the one of the very first fights that are going to be made in uh, P on the PBC's new contract that they have with Amazon Prime 
and certain people were speculating that it could be he versus Virgil Ortiz could be the fight that was made. But it doesn't that to me doesn't make sense because Virgil Ortiz is a golden boy fighter. Virgil Ortiz also is somebody that is not as big a name or does and does not have the recognition that Errol Spence Jr. does and would not generate nearly as much interest for uh, Tim Zhu and give Tim Zhu as big an opportunity uh, as he would be getting if he was able to beat Errol Spence. So that's what I foresee coming uh, um, taking place. I've also heard other people mention it as well. And I think that it is a very, very viable option. Um, and I think that it is something that eventually could lead to a rematch with Terrence Crawford at 154 pounds, which I think is a really um, would be a very smart move for Errol and for Terrence for them to both go up to 154 Errol to be able to get a good win under his sist un under his belt, a title under his belt and create uh, more interest for that fight. If that's what they're going to do down the line. Now I know people are going to say, well, I've got, I don't think Errol has a chance against Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is too big. Tim Zhu is too strong. All of the above. Um, I got to tell you, man, that I don't think that that is the case, man. I think that Errol Spence Jr. has a very solid chance to beat uh, Tim Zhu, and I would favor him to do it just for, again, provided that Errol's body is not broke, is not broken down. And I think that that very well may be the one of the reasons why Errol is letting it be known what the issues were with him uh, in the fight with Terrence Crawford. Now, of course, I could be wrong, and Errol Spence Jr. could very well go back and rematch Terrence Crawford, but um, I don't think that anybody advising Errol Spence Jr. would say that that would be a smart move. And uh, many people have suggested that he doesn't do that, that he takes his time and then he comes back and he gets some other fights. Uh, famous among these people are... Um, Roy Jones Jr., who said the same thing, who said, look, man, I wouldn't don't take that fight right now. You got to get over that. Give yourself a chance, you know, to get your, your body in a better position um, and, you know, for that rematch that could uh, that could happen down the road. You also have seen that throughout boxing history, like one guy that I think is a very good example of that is Lennox Lewis. Who had knocked? Who had lost by knockout on multiple occasions? Um, one to Oliver McCall, and the other to Hasim Rahman. And both times that he fought, though he fought them, he took several fights between those fights in order to get before he went back into it. And Tim Zhu again, stylistically, I think is something that really does work for Errol Spence because Tim Zhu is somebody that's going to be coming forward. Tim Zhu is somebody that is going to be trying to land big shots. He doesn't really, he's a better, I think he showed in his last fighter that he is a better, um, he has a better tactical fighter than maybe he looked in some earlier fights, but Errol at 154 at a weight that he's stronger at, that a weight that he has more um, endurance in, I think could do very, very well. And I'm pretty sure that that's the route that they're going to go. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.